Hi, this is Russell Stanow from teachertraininvideos.com. If you're a teacher or a student, you're gonna find this really useful. It's gonna train you in some of the useful things that we can do with playlists in YouTube. They're so useful, I always train my students to use them. It means that we can create groups of videos together all around one theme. So perhaps you want English grammar videos all together or maybe English vocabulary videos all together or history videos all together. And you can share these collections of videos with your students. So it's a great thing for the teacher to learn and it's a great thing for the students to learn about as well because it's a way of organizing videos that you find on YouTube into playlists. So it's all about playlists. Let's get started. And as always, if you like the video, please share it. Please like it. Please comment on it. Let's get started. So let me immediately explain why playlists are so useful. And I'll do an example from my own study. So I'm studying Polish. And so what I've done, I've made a playlist of all the interesting listening material that I've found in Polish. And I can play this list, the whole collection at any time. I can simply click on this button here and it will play the videos one by one. Or of course, I could jump to any of the videos. So what playlists are, are of collections of videos that you like and you wanna to keep together around a particular topic. And if you look here on the left-hand side, you'll see that I have hundreds of them because I find them really interesting. For example, I study singing and I've got a lovely playlist here of all the exercises that I like to do when I'm doing my singing practice. So if you're a teacher and you're working in geography or history or teaching French or English, you can make playlists. But the other great thing about playlists is that you can share your playlist with your students. So you can create a playlist for your students and then share that. That is a collection of videos all connected to one particular theme. So you can share a link to a playlist in just the way that you can share a link to a single video. So if I click here on play all and I just copy that link, that link will actually give the students a, the, the list basically of all the videos. So they will actually be able to, just like I can do here myself, start to work through and play all these videos. So now what I wanna do is show you how easy it is to make playlists. So let's take an example. I've got a video here that I really like. I want to add it to my collection of uh, videos about blues guitar. I'm going to click on save and immediately that opens up all my lists. Now I can create a new list. I can simply click on this button here, write the name of a new list and then click on create and that video will be added to that list. So all I need to do is just give a name to a list, click on create and that then will be added to that list. However, I'm gonna add to a list that I've already created because I've already got one here called Blues Lessons and Licks. So I click there and now that video will be added to that list. Now, I'm not limited to one. If I wanted to add this to more than one list, I can simply do that by just choosing, for example, these lists as well. Generally, I only ever add a video to one particular list. So this is now part of my blues lessons and licks. Just a really quick plug for my website. If you like the video that you're watching and you want more free videos, come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's masses of videos here a big selection even on the opening page and if you'd like to follow my work then just sign up to the newsletter that way you'll get updated with all the latest blogs the latest videos the latest webinars and all the latest online courses and at the moment if you sign up there's like a six part uh, video course that introduces you to using technology in teaching and learning right let's get back to the video Now, one thing about lists that's really important is where do you find them? Well, you just click up here and go to your channel and your lists are always here on the left-hand side. Let me just stop this a minute. And if we just come down here on the left-hand side, you'll see 
that it always shows you a couple of of your lists but if you click here you'll see all of the list now if you remember we just added that new video to the blues lessons and licks and if I click here I will now see that that new video has been added to the list okay there it is at the bottom now of course you can always delete objects from a list or videos from a list so you can go over any of your videos and I'll come back down to that bottom one and say well actually I don't want that and I can just click here and then I can remove that particular object from the list okay remove from blues and now that object isn't or that video isn't in that particular list so it's very easy to add and take away videos from lists Now, one thing about lists as well is it's very nice when you create lists, this is obviously up to you, but actually to make them public so that if anyone else wants to use your list of videos, then they can. And this is really important when we're actually searching for content. And this is something else I do. In other words, I often search for lists. And let me give you an example. So if a person has made a playlist um, available, so I'm going to put here, for example, English. Let's imagine that we're learning the language. So we're going to do English grammar, okay? And I'm looking for playlists, comma, and I'm going to write playlists. And it's going to show me all the people that have created playlists. And there they are of English grammar collections and I can search through those playlists and that could be really useful now this is actually used a lot for music so let's say for example I want to put reggae music I'm a big fan of reggae music playlists and I'll get all the lists of reggae music but we can use it as a way of searching for playlists particularly if I want to study something I'll often search for a playlist so that then I can work through all of the videos connected to that one theme Now, I always teach my students about playlists because it can be so useful to students as well because, you know, so many of us use the internet. But I just want to point out another little thing. If you click on the plus button, there is an automatic playlist that is created for you and it's called Watch Later. And that means you can always add your videos into Watch Later. And I use this particular list quite a lot. If I find something, but I know I want to watch it and I haven't got time now, I'll put it into Watch Later and then I'll try and watch it. However, I must admit what happens to me is I tend to have hundreds of videos in my Watch Later. If we come down to my channel and look on the left-hand side, and it's actually always the first list that you find. Let me just stop that video. The first list here on the left-hand side you'll see is Watch Later. And if I click here, it's very much, it's just like any standard list. And it's got a huge collection and unfortunately I'm always putting things into watch later and then never having time to watch them. But it is really useful for me to just be able to quickly save a video in there and then if I want to play it back at another time and then add it to the correct list I can do that. So of course I can always add something to another list. So if I play a video and think right I really want to keep this video now and I don't want to just leave it in watch later I of course can click on share and add it. Sorry not share click on save and add it to another list right but then take it out of the watch later list so you can also do that as well so watch later is very useful okay as I mentioned before please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com loads of free videos and if you want to keep up with my work sign up to the newsletter that way you'll be updated with all the latest blogs the latest videos the latest webinars and uh, the short courses that i run the other thing of course that you can do is to subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to click on the bell if you wanted to be updated with all the new videos that are uh, put up onto youtube and finally if you are looking for training perhaps in camtasia or zoom or moodle or edmod or google products then please contact me and you can contact me from my website and thank you very much.